For the second day in a row, CT Transit had to cancel a number of buses throughout the New Haven area after more drivers called out sick. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live with the mobile newsroom in the Elm City with reaction from riders. And Matt, I bet a lot of unhappy riders out there with this. Yeah, you know, this has impacted a lot of folks, Aaron. You know, here downtown New Haven, typically it's bus after bus pulling up here uh, to uh, the area of Church and Chapel Street. You can see a couple of buses here right now. But uh, you've noticed the past two days, you could tell it just wasn't as busy. The buses a little bit more spaced out. And that's because CT Transit was dealing with dozens of sick calls leading to plenty of cancellations. Waiting for his connection downtown, Jaquan Miller was happy to avoid a repeat performance. I was unable to go to work yesterday because of it. That's because Monday morning, the bus he takes to get to his job at Amazon was a no-show. The buses never showed up at the usual schedule time, so I called the bus company. I was like, what, what happened with the buses? And the lady said they're... The buses are a shortage of drivers. According to CT Transit, 61 bus operators at its New Haven division called out sick Monday, along with 13 sick calls today, significantly impacting all of its routes. I had to go to work and I couldn't get to work. They had a two hour delay, but the buses wasn't running right. So I had to call my boss and she said just stay home. While most of its buses were running, CT Transit still had to cancel more than 100 trips, with its general manager saying, I want to apologize to our riders who were impacted and know that we're doing everything we can to dependably transport them. While CT Transit says the sick calls do not appear to be COVID related. These bus operators have been out here on the front line since day one of this uh, pandemic. The union representing the operator says many drivers who are still not vaccinated have watched co-workers contract the virus and are feeling the fatigue now a year into it. You have people that because so many people have become infected with the COVID uh, bus operators specifically that um, they're mentally, physically burnt out. Now, the union head tells us he would never sign off on a sick out. He can't, but he says if employees are sick or fatigued, they do have the right to take a day. Now, again, not as many sick calls today. Riders tell us it was a lot better than yesterday, so we're just going to have to wait and see what tomorrow brings. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.